Uh, I always loved playing sports. I played rugby a bit in England, and then I came over here. Rugby was the big sport in New Zealand, so I carried on playing rugby. Yeah, I love playing rugby. I played for up until I was about 19 years old, and then that's when I started boxing. Introducing Jerome the Panther Pampaloon! We used to train on a dick at my house, and Jerome lived next door, and he was around my letterbox, and my wife actually used to tell that guy to bugger off. That's the truth. He was dressed, he was just sort of hunched over, and he looked dodgy as hell, and she, yeah. <laughs> That's the truth, but it was just because he was so he was so shy back then. It all kind of just happened because he was my next door neighbour, he had a gym going on. So one day I just kind of went over, asked if I could join him. And then from then on, I just I trained boxing and I was still playing rugby at the same time. I just kept falling in love with boxing more and more and more. He finally asked me if I wanted to have a fight. I had a fight and then from then on, it just, it just kicked off. But he came and he started training with us and after three or four months, stuff started clicking, I was like, this guy's... It's weird, people don't just click straight away, but this guy's good. So I've been plumbing for about four years now, so I'm halfway through my apprenticeship, and then as I started boxing, Isaac put me on for his business, so he's got a small business, so me and him work together. It seems to gel really well because he's my boss, my coach. We're just always talking to each other to see how, how we're going, how work's going, how sport's going, so it's just a constant communication's great. We've got a great relationship, like, we have to because we spent so much time together. At the start, it was quite a big thing for him to come on work for me because is it too much? Is it too much time? It could be a negative. But it's worked really well. I think we're quite different people, which makes it work. He's quiet, I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> I think it's a real positive for the boxers now because we've always, we find time for training. We, everything works around boxing, really. versus Kazakhstan, he was the number one at the time and I unfortunately lost to him, so which puts me into another another Olympic trial. But because of what happened with COVID and stuff, um, that didn't happen, so they, they were able to pick who they thought deserved to go and I missed out just by one spot, which is pretty stink actually, because I, that, was a, that was one of my big goals. Because I didn't get to go, I just returned into the pros and from then I just kept focusing on being a pro, being a pro, and it's just quite, it just happened to be on the same night that it's on the, the Olympics is happening. But it's just, it's all part of the journey. Boxing, you get all these ups and downs, and you just gotta, you gotta deal with it and just carry on. To be honest with you, he's been in the number two in the world, he's been in the number five in the world twice, but COVID, we don't get a trial, and the point system doesn't work in our favor because we weren't boxing then. We don't get together, that's life, life goes on. The main goal is to be a world champion, we've got to move on. I mean, that hurt. We put a lot of money, time, effort into that. But yeah, he, he's okay with it. I fight them all the time, so they haven't got time to think about <laughs> what's happening. Josh Tai, I'm going to have a rematch with him. Before it was going to be a 10 rounder, so I've been training, I always train the same, but it's going to be a six round fight for this fight, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm still, at least I'm still fighting. It's not ideal, but I've said to all my fighters that COVID's affected us. The higher level you are in boxing, the more COVID affects you, obviously. So we've been affected a lot by COVID, and it is what it is. Like, people are way worse off. It's like, I managed to think, get over it. You've got to fight, you're lucky to have a fight and we're lucky Josh will take it, and we're appreciative. Yeah, it's unfortunate, because I was looking forward to it, getting some international fighter come over and show all my hard work. It's hard with the world at the moment. Everyone's on the same boat. There's always up, there's ups and downs. It keeps changing and changing. Drum didn't stop Josh last time. Our goal is to stop Josh. Josh is a good, hard competitor, man. I, I like the fight. It's fine. The Aussie can wait. He's got all his flights booked and everything. We can hold those. We can do that on the next show. Life goes on. Oh, being able to fight David Nico was just, it was just awesome. Just knowing how good he is, the weight difference. So just knowing that I did well in the fight is just, it just shows that I can, I can, I can do well in, in what I'm doing. And before that, me and David Nico, we, we were friends. We went overseas together. So it was kind of, it was, it was a bit weird fighting him at the start, but it's a fight. We both went in there and did our thing, and he. 
he got the win and yeah, it was just awesome, yeah. In the ring, I think my style of fight is I like to stalk my opponent and slowly break him down. I think one of my things I'm good at is my speed and my reflexes, so having that in the ring, is, it helps a lot. And while I'm in the ring, I'm constantly thinking on my opponent, what he's doing, the patterns he's doing, and just things like him, the way he's breathing, maybe slowing down, his punches are getting slower and slower. All the things we practice in the gym, it eventually happens in the ring, so we're prepared for everything that comes, comes ahead. The goals have to be high. It doesn't mean every fighter's gonna be a world champion, and Joe might not be a world champion, but that's our goal, and I 100% believe that he can be. And I wouldn't do boxing if it was, like, this is what I love. I don't like doing boxing for money as a gym sort of thing. I want success at the highest level. That's our passion and I want to do everything I can to try and, you know, we're learning all the time. We don't know it all. We, we haven't got a world champion. We don't even know what it takes to get to the very, very high level, but we're doing our best. It's a big journey, this boxing, so I just got to stay focused, keep at it. But um, yeah, I got, I think I've had about seven fights this year, so it's good. I'm keeping active, keeping focused, look, constantly learning on my next fight, what to do for my next fight after that. So I'm always in the gym. Yeah, just keep doing what I love to do. Just hard work. Like anything you do, you gotta put as much effort into it as you can. It can be really hard, but you get so much joy out of it. Everything you do, all the commitment and constant training, and when you reach that point, you get that win, it just feels like you're on top of the world. Having your hand raised in the middle of the ring, it just feels like it all pays off, and you can just do it all over again. So it's just, I just love doing it, eh? Just having people constantly telling me I'm doing well, just gives me that extra push to try and be better and better.